Okay, in this video here, I'm going to show you some sort of things and it's going to be about how to use some of this menu tools. So if, if you look at here, I have this model here. I just make a random modeling and I'm going to do a couple of stuff with the tools that I have on the top bar menu here. So now this is what I can use to this shape. I'm gonna start with the extrude. So you have the extrude here on the top here. I can press on extrude and it's gonna extrude it and you can change how much offset or the scale of it and I can control how much inset lines like this and also the angle. So I can change the angle from here and I can maybe extend the extrude like this and also I have this that can be done manually by pressing the A key and hold this one and you can see I can control my my part like this so if I just need to insert an edges I'm gonna press the A key again and stop at this line and I can press to insert my edges okay so I'm gonna undo this and if you can see that, I can just extrude it like this, like this. So now this is looks like um, QR scanner for me, and I can just control some sort of stuff here. So I just did it like this. And of course, I can make this flat. Okay, so if you see this, if I just did that, you can see this is not really flat and looks bad. You can easily select this faces, right click, and press on flatten. And you can easily go to this flatten from the mask tools or alignment here, and I can select flatten. Okay, so now you have quite good flat surface. All right, what else I'm gonna do, I can go to the box mode and can adjust this sub D like this. I can remove this one, donate it, and I can certain edges and close it like this. So now you have good sub D without any problems, okay. So something else we can use and yeah, let's take it here we have the hard edge and the smooth and chamfer so the hard edge here if I just selected this edge and I'm going to select smooth so it's gonna be smooth like that and you have fully hard edge as it was and you have chamfer so the chamfer is doing like inserting um, a loop around it so it gives you a little bit of fillet or chamfer so if I just need this to be filtered I can leave it like this if I need a, a real chamfer I can select this and hard this edge so it's gonna be chamfered like this all right now I can control the shape a little from the front plan to give me a um, more organic shape and you can rotate it like this okay giving this a little bit of creasing from this side part here and maybe make this a little bit bigger right so I'm actually can do some edits here also so if you just did this and got a little bit like that and this one like this so it looks better better than before maybe removing this one 
and removing also this one okay so now you see that we have this nice shape now what else we can do explaining the tools here so if I just selected any face here you can see um, you have the delete and erase of course delete is just deleting the face and erase is just for erasing um, lines like that if you just need to erase it and you can go to this also by clicking the right click and you have delete and erase here so this is um, like a shortcut menus instead of going up there and you can use it and it can help you more now from the LCD tools it's called load tools here I can make it a little bit bigger at the quads so I have level 1 to 4 I'm gonna use in this case maybe level 2 and I can select this edges here and go a little bit like this and this one also and a little bit like this so you have this organic one okay now if I just clicked okay it's going to keep the same um, original state with the modification you did without inserting more details so now I can just go to the HDR settings we have ability to change the color if we need so go to font shading and as you see we can increase the quality by increasing the sub D levels so as you see and on the HDRI also so everything looks smooth everything looks great and I can go to showing my standard again and this is a simple sub D that give you this nice shape we have also ability to change the angle of this guy here if you need this is the regular one and I can choose with the soft selection here if I just check this box here increase it more and it can be more like it's less effect to the, the whole body so you can see the difference with activating and deactivating it okay now I can also from here maybe at 5 or 14 and give it this smooth look all right now what I can do is I can make this flat to the ground so if I just have a plan and it's the top plan I guess okay give me the right and I'm gonna select this guy here alignment I have here ability to flatten to the X Y or Z so in this case the top plane here is on the Y I'm gonna select flatten on Y so if I just go to the box mode you can see it's perfectly aligned with the plan okay so this is what you can get with this um, basic sub D it's just at level 1 if we just uh, say that is less detail than it should be okay if we get to the top view 
you can control also if I need to change anything here maybe doing like this so that's what it looks like and if I just like it like that I'm gonna leave it but maybe I can make it a little bit wider All right now I can connect this unconnected vertices with insert edge here so I'm gonna press on the insert edge and select my vertice and I can connect it like this that's what we just got with our modeling today and of course we can keep figuring out what we can do more with the tools so if you just see here I can see that is not fully perfectly aligned to a flat so what I can do is I'm just gonna select this and you just go to the orientation here and make it um, to the selected geometry okay so now I can go to mirror just unify the mirror and as you see we are just removing the mirror and take this off make it a little bit wider and remirror it okay now I can just unify the mirror and select my faces and as you see now because I just removed the mirror I can make it accurately flatted and it's also for the loop here so if I just selected this whole loop you can see that I can fully align it with the other one Okay, so here we go. Now the last thing is just converting it. Now we have your solid and you have your board. Let me just add some materials. that's it that's your port here and everything looks great I can go back anytime selecting my port and I can edit and adjust whatever I want like this and convert again and as you see everything looks great <laughs>